Hi everyone, it's Rachel and in this video I'll be showing you how you can make your very own glittery pastel galaxy clay. If you haven't already seen my other DIY colour clay videos where I show you how to make galaxy clay and granite clay, I'll leave those links down in the description. So for this clay you'll be needing some translucent polymer clay. You can use any brand but the one I've chose to use today is by Sculpey. If you have Opal by Primo that will also work really well too. For those of you who are going to ask if you can use white clay, yes you can but it won't have the same effect and will look more like marbled clay instead of galaxy clay. You'll also be needing some glitter and the choice is up to you whether you use more fine or chunky pieces. I got both of these large packs from a craft store in Australia called Spotlight, but similar ones are also available in other craft stores around the world such as Michaels. And then the other thing I'm going to be using is some chalk pastels. So I got this pack from eBay by searching for hair chalk and then this pack here is again from a local craft store. If you don't have chalk pastels or don't want to use them, using coloured clay will also work as well. To make the pastel galaxy clay, these are the colours that I use. So when choosing your glitters and chalk pastels, make sure to choose the lightest shade of each colour possible that you have. In my pastel galaxy clay, I like to use shades of pink, yellow, blue and also some iridescent white. So firstly take a ball of your translucent clay and split it up so that you have enough sections to match the number of colours you'll be using. In my case I went for five different sections, I made three larger and two smaller sizes. I'm starting off with the pink colour by taking one of the larger balls and flattening this down roughly so it's kind of like a nest. I'm then adding in some of the pink glitter as well as the fine and chunky iridescent glitters for some extra sparkle. Now you can go ahead and mix all of this into the clay and it is okay if some of the glitter falls out onto your work surface or gets on your fingers because you can just use the clay to pick it all back up. For a tiny extra bit of pigment, this is where I add my chalk pastel shavings and mix it in. I find that the pastels allow the clay to still maintain its translucency, so if you want to use coloured clay, only use a very small amount. Now just repeat these steps with all the other colours you want to use. I used the larger sections of clay for the pink, blue and purple, so they were my main three colours, and then the smaller ones are used for the yellow and the white. Once you have coloured all of the clay, you can then roll each section into a snake. We'll now go ahead and start mixing the clay together so that it has that swirly galaxy look. To marble the clay, all you have to do is add all of the colours together and then keep rolling, twisting and folding. Repeat these steps just a few times so that it's all nicely swirled and not completely mixed in with each other, otherwise it will turn out like a weird grey colour. Then what I like to do is roll the clay into a ball and cut it in half because most of the swirls are usually hidden on the inside. So I do that to make them more visible and then have them on the outside instead. Then you can just swirl both of those pieces back together and you should be left with your very own pastel galaxy clay that you can use in your creations. This is a small sample I went ahead and baked according to my package's instructions and as you can see the colours do darken up a little. Here are also some little kawaii star charms that I made using the clay. And these star charms are actually the reason I'm making this video because I got a lot of requests when I posted a photo of them onto Instagram. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more, and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.